everyone, Ryu. I am on the uh, 405 freeway. 405, yep. Yep, 405 freeway. I'm officially back in LA. It's good to be back in LA. It's good to be back in OC. It's good to be back to see everyone's friendly faces. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just chilling in the car now, listening to a little flow, as you can probably hear in the background. Um, Lucas here driving, all that stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, let me see. Are you? No, that's not you. That's not you either. Hold on. You know what? Yeah, I'll just. Anyways. Yeah, Lucas is driving. So, Lucas, it's good. Are you like excited to be like ready for AX? I mean, it's this week and everything. Yeah, I am excited actually. I'm still just you know hightailing, trying to get everything prepared and everything. We have to when we get back. When we get back, we have to prepare the questions. Then after that, like we had to finish up my cosplays, I got to finish that up, and I got to prepare for the masquerade. We're still not done with that, even. Wow, you guys are still working on your mask kit? Well, no, no, we're done with the with with the, with the audio and everything like that. We submitted it. We just we're still, we have to we had to finish up all the props and everything. though. that's the cash. Props, huh? Sounds like you guys are throwing a pretty huge skit here. Um, it is a pretty huge skit, and um, bumps the word on that one. Can you reveal anything about your skit, or is it top secret? Well, I can tell you what series we're going to do. We're going to be doing a skit from Star Driver. Star Driver, that's a pretty interesting series. It is. It's um, we, we first watched it in one of our Friday meetings, because our, our main meetings are on Thursday. And then we watched um, uh, Star Driver on one of the Friday meetings. So we watched like the first six, seven episode, and you know, it's not, it's not, it's neither really, how do you say, neither good or bad, it's really just entertaining, it's fabulous, we can say. So, um, and basically we, we, we picked either from Star Driver or Modica, one, that's the, the, the two big ones that we wanted to do, so we ended up doing Star Driver. Mm. So that's basically the only thing I'm going to, I'm going to reveal about that. Any thoughts on the boss not being here this time around? Well, I mean, it's not really a big deal, but I mean, you know, it happens, you know. It, you know, we can do things without the boss, you know. Without that, well, I should say the boss, well, the editor chief, without Matt. Um, you know, we, we can do things, we can do things, we can do, run this thing fine without him, okay? It's kind of a bold statement to say on camera, after all, he's going to be watching this too, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm sure, you know, things will go fine. I'm just saying that, okay? Mm. Well, Matt, I mean, I know you're watching this right now. We're sorry you can't be here. I know you really wanted to be here, and I know everyone's trying to get you out here, but, um... You know, I mean, look, things happen, and, you know, we just have to work our way around it, you know? The point is, you know, we're still gonna get, still gonna get AX covered, you know, again, you know, I do apologize, like, you know, Matt, you know, you know you're not able to come here, but, you know, Take some great video. We'll take some, we'll take some great footage. We we'll take some great video, uh, some great pictures. You know, and we'll tell you all about it. You know, when, uh, when everything's said and done. Because I'll tell you this. After, afterwards, um, this AX, I have no idea. I, I mean, I'm probably going to stop doing conventions for at least maybe to ALA. Even. Maybe, maybe Anime Vegas, but even then, it's still, it's still pretty iffy actually. So, in other terms, are you saying you're throwing in the towel as far as cosplay and conventions go? Well. Here's the thing, you know, as, as much as I enjoy doing cosplay and the conventions, you know, I have to focus on my career and my, my job. That's more important to me. Mm, well, it's still good. When you have free time, hobbies still are still Ob good to keep around. Obviously, you know, I mean, it is a nice hobby that I want to keep around. I want to keep doing it for as long as I can, obviously. But, you know, my career and my job is more important. And here's the thing, you know, I was able to pay, like, you know, parts of it myself, but, you know, the, you know, but the majority of them, my, my parents were paying for me. And it's like they're not going. They're not going to do it anymore after AX. Mm. That's just that's just how it is. Well, it's a pretty strong standpoint, Lucas, on that one. I'm, so I'm just I'm just, I'm being very blunt, very honest right now. It's just that's how it is. I mean, I want to make, make. I mean, if I don't do it, like I you know, this is my if this is my last convention of the year. I want to make it the best one ever. You know, the best one of. 2011, well, it, it makes sense. I mean, AX is going all out, their 20th anniversary and everything. I mean, they brought some pretty big people. I mean, especially exactly. like last year, I got they got like pretty big names too, like you know, you know, Kashuki Koinishi, 
Yu uh, Asakawa, Yui Horie, they got a lot of big people, big name people. And this year again, they were a, they did not disappoint me in the sense like they got Kalafina, which I'm like me and my friends were big fans of. Uh, Miku Hatsune, well I was sort of a big fan, and then I never really got into it. Um, Freddie Gallagher, who I've actually met once now at Comic Con 2006. Um, in case you don't know who, who Fred Gallagher is, he actually is the uh, person who runs um, the Mega Tokyo uh, webcomic, which is one of the most, if not the most successful, um, like manga, like an English webcomic um, or English Jap uh, manga um, here in the in, in the U S. You know, um, here in the U S. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I'm glad he's able to come, and of course I'm very glad that Vic Mignogna, of course, was able to come back again. Well, I mean, Vic is Vic. No yeah, offense. Vic, Vic no offense around. to Vic if you're watching this, but um, we kind of see you everywhere. Exactly. But you know, I met I met him. You know, down, you know, down at Anime Vegas like last year, um, like right at the end of, of the um, um, of his uh, autograph session. You know, we, we spoke just briefly and introduced. You know, who I am, who the club, you know, who the um, who our, who our blog is, what our, what our blog is. And you know he he was a really cool guy. You know very you know down to earth. I can tell like he you know you know not only did, was he really good at his job, but he really enjoyed his job. He you know he goes he's, out of his way you know you know to make his fans happy. Well, I mean he's very dedicated to work exactly. his work and his fans, and that's what something that we can appreciate. So I mean exactly, and that's something that and that's something to me that I think you know for anybody you know is just very amazing. I have a lot I have a lot of respect. For him. So that's basically um, what I want to say for that. So I will be, you know, I will be pleased to know that we'll be hopefully interviewing him again um, for day zero. Well, anyways, no. Do you think he'll remember us from AV? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, he probably talks to a lot of people, but you know, there's that chance. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I mean, I I don't know. Maybe. Like I said, we'll find out. Any big concerts you really want to hit up? Well, I mean, the two big ones, Miku Hatsune and Kalafina. That's the two big ones. Kalafina more than Miku Hatsune. But yeah, I definitely want to be able to, to, to do that. But I mean, it seems the tickets are sold out already, but I don't know about that. Well, I mean, we're press. Why do we have to worry about? <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Anyways, no, um, what about Kaon, like, uh, the person behind the house, High School of the Dead, uh, endings? You gonna maybe hit that concert up? Because I know I am. Well, when, it, when, when is that concert? That's the thing. Day three. When? Um, before Mask? It's like early before Mask? Uh, don't think so, because I got Gios and I got Star Driver and Cosmo at the Gathering, that's the thing. Is the concert, see, the color, wait, the Colofina concert, that's like round, that's like day two. Day, as, day, yeah, day two, that's early in the, uh, kind of in between morning and afternoon. Oh. That's when Colofina is, and then Miku's late at night. Well, actually then, I might, I might end up going to the Miku concert then, because they're, they're, unfortunately during the day, during the day of week two, uh, like in, during the, the afternoon, I have the, um, uh, I have the gatherings I, I plan to do, so. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure if we miss, if somebody... I want to go to at least one concert. I mean, either one I, I'm fine with because I'm, like, I'm not like super huge fan fans of, but I want to go to at least one. What I'm fine with either. Okay, just out of a random question, what about Vic's concert? I mean, I don't, again, I don't know. It depends on the schedule. I haven't, I haven't even really planned out everything. You need to start, I mean... <laughs> well, I mean... I plan out most of my cosplays in the gatherings, but that's pretty much it. Well, I mean, like... You gotta coordinate everything all at once eventually, dude. I mean, eventually, yeah. Anyways, because the thing is, on like day, on like day three, I, I know for in like I'm basically gonna be booked because, you know, for the masquerade stuff and for my and for my gatherings. But that's basically it. Yeah. Well, let's see. It seems like you're gonna, you're gonna be busy with masquerade, mainly gatherings. I mean, you say you want to hit at least one concert, so I mean. That's good. That's good. I mean, well, to me, it's like you know. I mean, like with, with anime, with um, with a lot of with a lot of the stuff I do is, I try and have a general idea, and then I and then of course I change up my plans or whatever, um, by like you know, just by you no, know, I just play by ear. And typically speaking, it works out that way. Like I know for sure, like I want to, I know like the things I want to do, and if I have extra time, I'll do them. So. 
yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to throw it in, throw in the towel, quote unquote, just yet. It's just, like I said, I mean, I want to focus on the uh, other. I want to focus on. I just want to. I just need to focus on what's more important to me. That's all. Chances of you hitting the arcade, maybe playing some ID or Maximum Tune. Again, I don't know about that so too much, but um. I mean, like I said, I mean, it really all depends on like you know, what I'm in the mood for and what I'm, what, what the feeling is. That's basically it. Is there any particular merchandise you're going to look for this year? Any any particular what? Any particular merch or like swag that you want to pick up this year? Or I mean, or is there anything that you're looking for out of Dealer's Hall? Maybe just a couple of posters and uh, maybe like a um, figurine, perhaps. Yeah, because I noticed that. Um, I noticed at Fanime, you picked up a pretty nice Persona 4 uh, figurine. It's like, I kind of envy you about that one, but... Yeah, but that was basically the I was basically, I was saying the money, that was the only thing that I, that I bought. I didn't spend any money. I didn't spend my money on anything, basically. No food, no, no nothing. I'm probably going to probably get, like, maybe one figurine and maybe, like, you know, a couple of posters and that's it. Because the thing is... Because I may or may not be moving back to Pasadena, I don't exactly have a lot of room left. And the thing is, there's no way I can fit all my stuff on, on my walls anymore. I have to change up, I have to reconfigure everything, essentially. I'm not really planning on getting anything, considering the fact that I really don't have any money and all this other stuff. But Matt's, I'm kind of being Matt's lackey and buying stuff for him that he wants, because like, he wants a lot of Miku stuff. So, especially with Mikunopolis. Well, I mean, I, maybe I want at least one piece of merchandise for Miku, obviously, because, because this year, obviously. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I had the money, really, I'd pick up one of those uh, Miku, uh, Hatsune Miku uh, Nendroids that uh, have the uh, Support Japan effort in it. Because, like, I heard, actually, no, I was reading the other night that uh, the Nendroids actually um, go to charity for the events that happened in, for, in Japan a couple months ago. I see. That's so, definitely nice of them. And, uh, you know, again, my heart goes out to... Uh, goes goes out to everybody there who's been working so hard. Like I said, um, one of the, the moments I really enjoyed from um, from the flow concert at Fanime was like in the midway through the um, um midway through the um, the concert. You no, know, they you no know, everyone the band took a took a quick break, and um, the lead singer uh, I always forget his name. Um, Kago. Kago. Yeah, Kago. He uh, he mentioned how like you know. You know, this not no, no. Ever since the tsunami, you know this, you know this sucks. But you know we're not going to, we're not going to, you know, it happens inside and it's bad. But we're not going to let it get, you know, get us, no, let it get us down. And you know, we thank you all for your moral support. You know, and you know, as our gift to you, you know, we just want to sing our hearts out to you and have a great time. You know, to me that was just, you know, it was. One of the be one of the most more emotional moments of that of that, that of that concert, actually. Well, I mean, I know that was that was really touching to me. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of the fans felt the same way we all did. Mm -hmm. I mean, you kind of felt like you know, I mean, you, you felt right at home with them. You know, I mean, exactly. they kind of they I mean, opened up. You know, exactly. Like you know, most of the time, like you know, like last year they just performed like you know, and they were, they were and they were cool actually, and you know, but you don't really you don't really feel like, no you know at home with them but like when they said that it's like wow you know these guys are like you know they really care you know they're really down to earth they're, they're pretty cool people so i mean yeah i mean it was just flow nation right after the uh, concert though that was just really fun just this experience you know it is but anyways, no i mean that's i mean that's fanime but back to ax um I mean, AX, I mean, again, like, you know, I mean, it, it really all depends on, like, you know, this is the thing about cons, that, like, you know, really, it's like, you know, you know, it, it really depends because, like, you know, it depends on, it's really about what you want to do. You know, you can choose to go to video games, you can choose to do, like, you know, cosplay gatherings, you can choose to do panels, you can 
to go to concerts. I mean, that's the same with anything. That's that's like an AX or it's focused more heavily on the industry. So they can get like a lot of big name guests and everything like that. So anyway, so that's it for me. I'm going to like in a concert town driving and to meet this Rukazu signing out. All right. Well, I'll take it away from here. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's try and save up. Let's try and save as much video as we can. All right. Well, anyways, um, since you know. Rook doesn't really have much to say left on uh, me. I kind of explained everything on the plane, but just for those of you who kind of missed it, a little recap. I'm really looking forward to the uh, Hatsune Miku concert. Maybe pick, picking up some Hatsune Miku merch. Um, definitely looking forward to the gatherings I'm doing this year considerably because I'm bringing out a lot of new cosplay. Um, doing some old ones. I'm going to retire pretty soon. Um, yeah, the Hitsu guy is going into the retired list. Maybe on eBay, maybe Lucas's hands, I don't know. We'll just have to see from him after he acts. Anyways. Um, looking forward to the gatherings. A lot of really good guests. I want, really looking forward to Day Zero. And so it's going to be a long, long day. So.